Hello, good evening again. Uh, my name is Shez. Uh, today is uh, 24th of September. It's a Friday, 2021. It's a beautiful day here on Friday and uh, the sun is out. Uh, officially, we're in spring now. So, uh, you remember, we did a video in the last week of uh, August for the easy peasy variety of uh, the green peas that we intended to grow. So, <coughs> uh, unlike last year, we have ran into a few challenges this year. Um, we had an onslaught by the brown and black birds. Uh, they literally dug out majority of the seeds that we had uh, planted. Uh, we'll show you in a sec uh, how many of them have survived and how many of them has uh, actually made it to two to three inch uh, hallmark. So uh, the challenge this year has been interesting. The nature has already taken its share. Normally what happens is uh, when the plant would grow, the, it would give you the blossom, it will convert into fruit, and then the birds would come and have a go at the fruit. But this year we had uh, a go at uh, the seeds. So it was a minor challenge. Like I've always focused that uh, success and failure are, pa are part of this hobby. So let's quickly go and show you where exactly we had uh, laid down or dropped the seed. How many plants have actually made it? How many have survived? There is, however, uh, <coughs> a thing which, which I call uh, contingency, having concurrent backups. So. I did have enough seed to put uh, the backup seeds which were uh, taken away some of them they've also survived and then I had uh, germinated uh, some of them in the potting tray just as a last plan so let's quickly roll over show you what's going on and we'll come back uh, with another synopsis so first we'll show you the area that was uh, like the ground zero as you can see that uh, there is massive gap between uh, the plants if you move uh, a little bit further you would see the kind of destruction has occurred you can see the difference between the gap uh, I mean you can see the gap between uh, the plants it's evident that uh, this entire black uh, lining that I've put up was for the support of the plants and uh, the birds have literally dug out as you can see this is the most effective area they have dug out uh, the entire seeds and uh, I don't mind because it's the kind of uh, share that uh, the nature has in your garden they have also displaced a few, few seed if you can see um, this precisely is the area where they've done most of the digging as you can see so we have tried saving it let's continue and show you uh, the rest of uh, the seeding so when the onslaught started uh, I tried saving uh, uh, the plants by putting these tiny stakes in front and uh, I did backup seeding which is coming out now as you can see but they did uh, try digging out in fact they digged out the plants even through those stakes so this is the backup seeding which is now coming out as you can see it's some of the plants are uh, getting good height now as you can see from here yeah so these stakes have also worked but then I on purpose did not do the weeding on this side as you can see it was like a camouflage for the tiny seedlings so the rest of uh, the plants you can see behind the garlic they are coming out nice and steady as you can see let me show you the last bit so this was the ground area which was also quite affected by the birds I mean they they took the seeds from here as well so this is the final uh, seeding uh, uh, patch that we had for the green peas this one has comparatively survived as you can see let me try and get a better view so yeah like 98% uh, of the seedlings have survived uh, the onslaught of the blackbirds on their side let's give you a closer look there you go so this the health is really good this is all the easy peasy variety that we had done on this side there you go so this is uh, beginning to look really good the plants are gaining height with time and this is looking really good hello again so we were talking about concurrent backups so uh, as you have seen in the footage uh, some of uh, uh, the seedlings 
uh, the survival rate was 100% because uh, they were in a portion of the garden where the birds don't like to go. Uh, however, the others have been uh, have experienced an onslaught by the birds. So, after my backup seeding, which uh, partially failed, uh, funny enough, I did had this amazing potting tray that we had procured last year. So I p I had planted uh, over uh, 80 to 100 seeds in there, and they've germinated uh, in the last one week. Now I'm gonna let them grow to a point where they're they're bird safe, right? So. I've spoken to a few friends of mine because I've never experienced this uh, um, this thing before. I'm not going to call it monstrosity because it's uh, the fair share of nature that uh, nature takes you from uh, from you in this hobby. So, <coughs> excuse me. So we have around uh, 80 plants here, which I'm going to be filling in the gaps once uh, we start uh, uh, redoing uh, the patches so with these plants. Um, what else? Um, the challenges that you would face it doesn't mean that you need to give up altogether. I came across a friend uh, who said that uh, she had entirely given up on the hope of uh, doing gardening because of uh, the onslaught of the birds and because of uh, the infestations uh, that she had in her plants last year. It's, it all, it's all part of the package. So uh, these seedlings, coming back to the seedlings, these seedlings are doing really good. The ones that have survived, they're doing really good. Now, the only conundrum I have in this mix is uh, the ones that have survived in their patches upon uh, dropping the seed, they're easy peasy. This is like a mix of uh, <coughs> uh, garden peas and uh, some of them are sugar snaps. So <coughs> we wanted to show you uh, the germination as we promised. Uh, this is the first uh, life cycle uh, video for the green peas. They've got a uh, good 120 days to go before they would give us fruit. Rather, before that, they would give us fruit in about, uh, yeah, pretty much the same amount of time. So, on that note, I, I hope uh, you guys are doing well in your gardens. Uh, the green peas have the ability to survive the frost, not the birds, though. Um, and uh, we will keep covering uh, once these are transferred into the patches. We'll try and make a video of that as well. And once they would start blossoming and fruiting, that would be the most beautiful scene the blossom on these wines is just absolutely amazing so we have given you the challenge that we have had uh, if you have encountered something else which you want to share with us uh, feel free to share your feedback under the comment uh, section let us know your thoughts on the videos that we are formulating in season two and uh, we'll, we'll keep making more videos we we have uh, done paper towel germination as well I've germinated quite a lot of fruits like uh, uh, satsumas, mandarins, uh, apples. We have also germinated uh, a few black uh, boy peach uh, plants as well. So we are focusing uh, a lot more on the fruit side as well in this season. And uh, I've also grafted, uh, not grafted, air layered uh, uh, a pomegranate, uh, a yellow uh, peach, golden peach. Uh, we've got uh, five uh, bushes working for the black run, two uh, gooseberries. So lots of uh, fruit uh, we are focusing on in this season as well. So we'll keep making videos of the first initial life cycle that is uh, of everything that we are doing. Uh, I hope uh, you guys uh, are staying safe in the pandemic. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, drop them in the comments. And uh, wherever you are, have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening and night. We'll see you very soon. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.